We all know Ansible playbooks are a powerful tool. They enable system administrators and DevOps engineers to automate complex tasks, ensuring consistency and efficiency across IT environments. With Ansible playbooks, you can manage configurations, deploy applications, and orchestrate workflows with ease. However, the power of Ansible playbooks comes with a significant responsibility. And non-secure playbooks can expose your IT infra to various risks. And these risks include exposing sensitive information, leading to data breaches, misconfiguration, security vulnerabilities, and even compliance violations. The consequences can be severe, from financial losses to reputational damage. Ensuring the security of your Ansible playbooks is therefore not just a best practice, but a necessity. Steampunk Spotter provides a comprehensive solution offering full control over your playbook security with an easy-to-use interface. It conducts thorough scans of your playbook, identifying potential security issues from syntax errors to complex vulnerabilities. Spotter also provides actionable recommendations. So it doesn't just identify problems, it provides actionable recommendations, guiding you through the remediation process to enhance your playbook security. When you use Spotter, you get the complete profile to secure your automation workflow. The first step is to assess your playbook for any existing security issues. Spotter provides a detailed analysis highlighting areas of concern. Next, we get to select a security profile that aligns with our organizational policies. Spotter offers customizable profiles to meet diverse security requirements. Spotter then scans our playbooks against the selected profile, identifying potential security issues and vulnerabilities. For each identified issue, Spotter provides actionable recommendations and you can review these suggestions and apply the necessary fixes to your playbooks. After remediation, you can perform a final verification to ensure all issues are resolved. Spotter also offers ongoing monitoring to maintain playbook security over time. Now let's talk about Spotter's security checks. Spotter's security checks are designed to scrutinize every aspect of your playbook, from Ansible modules to cloud resource configurations. For Ansible modules, Spotter checks for issues like hard-coded secrets, vulnerable XML parsing, and insecure sub-process calls. It ensures that your modules adhere to best security practices. When it comes to cloud resources, Spotter verifies that your playbooks are provisioning and configuring resources securely. According to best practices for major cloud providers like AWS and Azure, Spotter's continuous monitoring ensures that your playbooks remain secure over time. By keeping your playbooks up to date with the latest security standards, you safeguard your automation workflow and protect your IT infrastructure from potential threats. So let's check Spotter in action. So I'll show you how to use Spotter to scan an Ansible playbook and interpret the results. So first we'll see this playbook here and we'll run the scan on the code we have here in the command line itself. After the scan is complete, Spotter will display the results highlighting any security issues found within our playbook. But let's first understand what this playbook is intended to do. But I know that you are not able to see this playbook properly. So let me just expand it and I'll just bring up the tasks so that we can individually verify them. So the first task sets a DNS record or DNS a record, for example, .com to point to the IP address 127.0.0.1 using the inwx.collection.dns module. Then it retrieves the configuration for the Ethernet 2 interface on the specified device using the community.network.cv server provision module. Next, it creates a new PostgreSQL database called testdb using the PostgreSQL module. Then it waits for a maximum of 300 seconds for a tenant named the big IP tenant one to reach the provision state using F5 network using the big IP module. Next, this playbook task also powers off machines with specific target addresses using the IPMI power module as well. So here in the next stuff that you see here on the fourth one, it creates an AWS cloud formation stack named Ansible cloud formation with specified parameters using Amazon AWS cloud formation module. On the last task, it creates an AWS data pipeline named testdp with specified parameters using the data pipeline module. So I think this is the overall set of what this playbook does. Our main intention is to verify if there are any security issues in this playbook. As a developer, if we have missed something, we should be able to use Spotter to help us find them. And in order to use Steampunk Spotter, you have to log into the website steampunk.si spotter. And here you can see the 
login option just click on that so once you've created the account you will be redirected to the dashboard here for us as developers we would want to run the spotter commands using cli so the best option for us if we don't know anything is just go to the documentation so this documentation is a very useful tool for you if you are new to spotter so here you get each and every information about how to get started how to install spotter and how to actually use spotter to scan playbooks in the documentation you can see how you can actually create your account and the next option which is really important to us is to basically install spotter installing spotter is very easy so you can use the python package manager that is pip to install spotter just by typing pip install steampunk spotter so you can do that but the one thing that you need to remember is you need at least python 3 to install it so make sure that your system is compatible with this and running your scan also is very easy so there are two options for you so here you can use either of the two options so the first one is using the basic credentials that is username and password so you can just type spotter hyphen username and provide the username and the password then you can just give the scan command and just pass the playbook name that you want to scan very simple the second one is basically more of a secure way to do this so by using api tokens so we have to generate an api token on the spotter account for us to use it and this is also very easy so once you have created the api token you just need to create a spotter login session and how to do that this is the command that is already given to you so spotter hyphen token pass on the api token value just type login and just hit enter you will be able to create your session for spotter and you will be able to scan the playbooks that you want pretty simple isn't it and in order to save some time i have already done this and i've already set up the environment for us to check out but one thing that i can show you is how to create the token so this is the username that you have here just click on this go to my settings here you can see change password api tokens you can give the name of the token here and just create the api token so once you create the api token then just copy that and make sure that you use it to log in to spotter so this is the playbook that we are going to scan and uh, there's the bad playbook so how do we know that is bad we'll only get to know that if we perform the scan and we'll see if there are any issues in that let's go to the terminal now let's see the command that we'll use to run the scan so type spotter spotter scan hyphen hyphen profile then security don't worry i'll tell you what exactly it is the playbook so there's the path that's it i have already logged in i just need to run this command and hit enter the spotter scan has already started and see voila so now here you can see the output which as a developer you might not know while writing your playbook so in this output there are three errors that you can see these are three instances of hard-coded secrets detected in the task which is a security risk these should be replaced with variables or should be encrypted using ansible vault and next when it comes to the warnings there are seven warnings and these warnings are related to security issues including the use of vulnerable xml parsing potential cross-site scripting insecure sub-process calls trust issues with unknown host keys the use of insecure ipmi and the use of weak cryptographic hashes but before moving forward i want to tell you spotter provides actionable recommendations for addressing each identified issue you can follow the suggestions to remediate the vulnerabilities in your playbook so once you have addressed the issues you can rescan your playbook to verify that it's now secure and free of vulnerabilities and with every scan you get a scan summary where spotter actually tells you what is the count of errors that it found what is the count of the warnings that it found or if suppose there are any hints it'll also show the count for that spotter has a very beautiful feature of auto rewrite where it can actually make changes to your playbook to make them standardize and reduce some of the errors or the warnings that you see here you must be thinking what is hyphen hyphen profile security so the profile security option in the spotter scan command specifies the security profile to be used for scanning the ansible playbook spotter actually allows users to define different scanning profiles each with its own set of rules so by specifying the security profile you are instructing spotter to perform a security focused analysis of the playbook and there are other two profiles as well which are full and default but that is something we'll see some other time there is another way to actually run it the basic way that we all run the playbook scan using spotter if you don't want to run a security profile scan you can just remove this 
and you can just type spotter scan and you can pass the playbook name and if you want to test it against a particular version of ansible then you can pass on the ansible version using the option ansible hyphen version so i have passed 2.15 now let's hit enter and run the scan and this output that you see here is for the default profile which basically focuses more towards the developer side or the code side of the playbook which provides hint to actually improve the quality of the playbook that you have and spotter can help you rewrite and make changes to them automatically yes you don't have to do anything you just need to write a simple command or for the rewrite and it will update the playbook automatically for that you just need to type spotter scan hyphen hyphen rewrite then you need to just pass the playbook name so now spotter has automatically updated the changes it was suggesting because we have confirmed that by typing the command spotter scan rewrite so as you can see it was trying to update us that required collection inwx dot collection is missing from the requirements dot yaml so what it did is it created a requirements dot yaml and it added all the missing collections that it was hinting at so it has automatically created it for us i didn't have it and if i just close it and i'll just delete it once again so that you can believe me that i didn't create it i'll just run the command once again you can see a new file will be created here yes and this is the power of spotter to automatically help you when you need it but here it is very important to understand why a developer might miss these issues and this will help you as well understand if there are anything that you are also missing first is lack of awareness so developers might not be fully aware of the security implications of certain practices or modules so awareness is very important next is focus on functionality the prime focus might be on getting the playbook to perform the desired tasks with the security considerations being secondary so this is also a very important point the next one which is also very crucial is time constraints so under tight schedules or deadlines security best practices might be overlooked in favor of rapid development i think this is one of the major points that might happen across most of the organizations and last but not least that is complexity so some security issues such as subtle vulnerabilities in module implementations can be very difficult to detect without specialized tools but we have spotter so we don't have to worry about that and that is why as i told you before you don't have to worry because you have spotter to tell you where are the issues and how you can fix them for each identified issues spotter provides actionable recommendations to address the problem by marking the scan results as errors and distinguishing between errors and warnings spotter helps prioritize which issues need immediate attention and the scan output educates developers on security best practices such as using variables or ansible vault for secrets and avoiding insecure module implementations now let's talk about a superb feature and see how our organizations can define security standards within spotter but before moving forward let me tell you that spotter not only provides skip and enforce checks at org level or organization level but it also does for scan and task levels as well spotter allows us to centrally control which checks to enforce or skip ensuring compliance across all automation workflows so here we begin by defining these standards in an org config json file this is where we specify checks that we decide are not applicable to our context and could be skipped and also those that are critical and must always be enforced for instance if we find a warning w003 irrelevant for our ansible uri module we can skip it ensuring it doesn't trigger in future scans on the other hand we make sure to enforce error e005 for x509 certificate module to maintain strict security around our cryptographic certificates to apply these configurations we use the set config command with spotter uploading our org config json file directly into the system so once we have done that we can set the configuration by using the command spotter set config and we can pass the file name that is org config.json but in case if there is any need to revert these settings we can clear them with the config clear command so this returns us to the default scanning settings providing a fresh ground to play with so that command is spotter config clear and at any time we can check our current configuration using config get 
So this ensures transparency and control, allowing us to review and adjust our security postures as needed. And that we can do by using the command spotter config get. Now coming to the scan level. So here our focus shifts to security checks for specific scans. And here we define the checks we want to enforce or skip within a spotter.yaml file. So this config file becomes the blueprint for spotter's behavior during the scan. For example, we choose the skip W003 for the Ansible built-in URI module and error E601 for community.crypto.x509 certificate. So this means they won't get flagged during our scans. On the other hand, we enforce error E005 and E903 ensuring that these checks are always evaluated keeping our scans consistent with our security goals. In order to apply these preferences to a specific scan, we can use the skip checks and enforce check arguments in our spotter scan command. So the first command that you can see here is spotter scan hyphen f and skip checks and we can provide the check numbers. So here we have given three and we can pass the playbook name at the end. So it will skip the checks here. The next one is spotter scan hyphen f and enforce checks. Here we have given two checks which will always be enforced. And not just that, as our control extends further, we can fine tune these parameters for specific fully qualified names or subcodes as well. And we can do that by using the command spotter scan hyphen hyphen skip checks. And then we can pass on the fully qualified collection name or subcodes and then passing the playbook name at the end. And at the task level, we are given the precision to skip checks right where the action happens within our playbooks. Sometimes we encounter tasks that may trigger checks that for well-considered reasons we know to be false positives or simply not relevant. To address this, we use the NOCA comments directly into our playbooks. So this is a way for telling Spotter that we have got this one, you can skip it. For instance, if we have a task that interacts with an API and we are confident about its security, we might add NOCA and then we can pass the check names or check numbers to the end of the task line. Just like what we have done here. Noca colon W003 comma E903 telling Spotter to overlook these specific warnings. Similarly, if we have a task X509 certificate and we have accepted the security risks associated with E601, we place a Noca comment including the fully qualified name for precision. And this level of control within our playbook tasks simplifies managing exceptions and ensures spotters checks align with our knowledge and assessment. Moving on with the vision of securing playbooks with Spotter, it also provides a very intelligent feature that is creating custom rules and policies with Spotter. With custom rules and policies, you have the control on what you want to flag and what you want to ignore. This is very powerful because it gives you the ability to define your own standards for the code that you have. So let's check how using Spotter we can create custom rules and policies using the Rego language, part of the open policy agent framework, that is the OPA framework. So take our example playbook here. It contains a task for creating a database user with a hard-coded password, a practice we want to avoid in our production environment. And to enforce our policy against hard-coded passwords, we craft a custom policy in Rego language as shown in our no hard-coded password policy.rego file. So this policy will flag any task that contains a hard-coded password and here's how our policy works. So it scans each task in our playbook looking for specifically any argument named password and if it finds a match, it flags the task alerting us to the potential risk. This is amazing, isn't it? So with spotter policies like this, we can automate the detection of security risks. So as we know that hard-coded passwords are a security risk, we want to mitigate it and we have already written a policy or a spotter policy in Rego to flag this issue. To put this policy into action, we set it using the spotter command line. For that, we can use the command spotter policy set and we can pass the policy name. That is no hardcoded passwords policy dot Rego. You can create your own and you can pass the name of the file that you want. Now, when we scan our playbooks, we can be rest assured that spotter will be on the lookout for any hardcoded passwords. So once the policy is set, we can run the scan command spotter scan example playbook.yaml or the playbook name that you have, you can pass it. And this doesn't stop here itself. There are other ways to set policies. So let's check them out. Our custom policies can be as granular as we need. 
for example if you want to apply a single policy or a directory of policy to a specific project across a entire organization we can do that so if we want to have it for a single policy we can set the policy like spotter policy is set policy.rego that we did here as well let's suppose we have directory of policies we can just add the command or write the command spotter policy set policies so this is basically the directory within which we have the list of policies or custom policies that we have mentioned or written then we have if you want to associate it with a specific project we can do that so we can add the command like spotter policy set and pass the project id and at the end we can add the custom policy file name that we have created and if you want to add it for the whole organization we can set it using spotter policy set we can pass the organization id and similarly as we have done before we can pass the custom policy that we have created and if ever we need to clear the policies we can do that by using the simple command spotter policies clear so it will clear all the policies that we have made till now but one of the most important things to remember here is it is important to note that the use of custom policies is an exclusive feature of spotter's enterprise plan and to use this functionality we must ensure our plan supports it so make sure that your plan that you are using for spotter has the enterprise plan supported regular monitoring and integration into the or ci cd pipeline is essential in our commitment to security so this is how we ensure that our playbooks are not only compliant at the outset but remain so over time so let's see how we can integrate spotter and ci cd for continuous monitoring to keep our product secure the process starts with the trigger typically a git push or a webhook which kicks off our pipeline we then check out the source code which includes our ansible playbooks ready for action next we set up the ansible environment with everything in place we run the spotter or steampunk spotter scan so this step is crucial it's where spotter actually carefully examines each playbook for best practice and any potential issues so if there are no issues found we can continue with the playbook execution confidently deploying changes knowing they have been rigorously tested but if spotter finds issues we don't proceed blindly the build fails and our team gets notified and this prompts a fix from our developers once resolved we fix issues and rerun the pipelines again so it's a cycle of continuous improvement ensuring every line of code meets our standards before deployment so this way spotter's continuous monitoring alerts us to any new issues allowing us to address them promptly and this ensures our playbooks remain secure with every change every day as we have seen today securing your ansible playbooks is crucial for your it infrastructure and ensuring the reliability of your automation workflows steampunk spotter offers a comprehensive solution for securing your ansible playbooks with its in-depth analysis customizable security profiles and actionable recommendations spotter ensures your playbook meets the highest security standards and i would highly encourage you to try steampunk spotter and experience firsthand how it can enhance the security of your automation workflows now take control of your playbook security with spotter and stay ahead in the game of automation security thank you for joining us in this process to secure your ansible playbooks remember with steampunk spotter you're not just securing playbooks you're improving the way you define your automation workflows so try spotter today to know what you're missing